Hello, Lisby. Hi. Hello. Um, so I've read everywhere that you uh, were the first unsigned singer to uh, sing at the O2, O2 Arena, but I couldn't really find anywhere. How did you? How did it happen? Um, I actually knew the producer of the show that I played in, and he had heard um, a couple of my songs maybe a year or so before. And then he rang me up one day and said, "I'm, I'm doing a show." at the O2, please could you play one of your songs? And I said, well, yeah, <laughs> of course. Cause was, so it was part of a bigger show, show then? Uh, yes, yeah, it was part of a big um, kind of celebration, a big sort of variety show. So I was just a very small part of it, but it was fantastic. It's too big. Because yeah. O2, that's like really something, well, I guess for a lot of artists, for later in their career, careers, I guess, right? Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, you don't really see smaller artists playing there because they can't really fit it out so <laughs> so it was amazing to, to get that opportunity in such so early on in my career which is fantastic because when, when was it exactly how old were you uh 2007 so i would have been um 18 19 yeah because you did you was very early with everything you like uh you sang your first or you rec recorded your first song at three <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah not quite not so professionally no but i, <laughs> I uh, my sister and i used to have a little tape recorder and we used to spend a lot of time just just singing into it um just for fun and uh on my first album the producer found the tape and he lifted a small part of it out a little song that i would have obviously sang to myself when I was three, and uh, it turned into a, <laughs> a track on the album. Was it really so good, or so good already then that he uh, lifted that one out? Um, it was just I think he found it quite funny, so he thought <laughs> that'd be quite fun to put on the end. <laughs> okay. And you, uh, the first song you written at nine, and uh, when did you start performing exactly? I somewhere at about seven, I think. Um, yeah, I I I was performing from a very young age. My my dad used to get my sister and I up singing with him playing guitar in village concerts and all that kind of thing. But I began performing my own stuff when I was about 12. Um, so that was, yeah, that was probably when I sort of began gigging properly. What kind of venues were those then? Um, it was just really local halls, pubs, you know, anywhere that anyone would let me, <laughs> basically. But you, because you had a very uh, musical family, obviously. Uh, yes, well, not most so much my mum's side, but my dad's side is very, very musical. What was that? Because he played guitar and he, I, he had a lot of music, I suppose. But what else was there? Yeah, well, he used to, the reason why I wanted to start writing songs is because he used to write when he was about 17 and he had lots of bands, you know, like a lot of teenagers do, they have bands and, and uh, he had a band called Mole and he recorded all of the songs onto a tape and I actually got hold of that tape when I was about seven and listened to it and thought it was fantastic and then from that moment onwards wanted to become a songwriter, that was, that was it. <laughs> and because your sister is a, is a singer too, right? Yes, yeah. So, so Anna Stainton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there, do you ever uh, sing together with her still? We did. We did used to a lot actually. We used to do a lot of lot of duetting, but uh, we sort of we moved away from home and, and obviously don't live live near each other anymore. So unfortunately, haven't managed to do so much since. No. no. Where does she live now then? She lives in Canada. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's far away. <laughs> a bit. Yeah. So you haven't seen her uh, in a long time. So um, she only moved there this year, so, so okay. for a few months. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay. <laughs> and then um, afterwards, well, it didn't take very long for your first CD. This was in yeah. 2006? Yeah, um, 2006. On your yeah. own, uh, own record label? Yeah. Um, well, and afterwards, let's say, uh, Girl on, an, on My Bed. Uh, when is that? You're re releasing it now in, uh, yeah. in the Netherlands? Yeah. Um, it covers uh, all songs from uh, since you were six 16. Yeah. Does it also cover, uh, like, is it a story about since you're 16? Or is it just random songs from uh, all those years? Not intentionally, but it. I suppose in some ways it does kind of, um, it does have a sort of bio, 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 no, biographical feel to it, so it's kind of, it, it documents my teenagehood, I suppose, <laughs> in some ways, completely inadvertently, it just, it just happens to have songs that, that kind of epitomise me growing up in some ways. Yeah, so. is there something that you see now, uh, when you look back at it? Uh, how you were back then? Is there something you can learn? I, I kind of look at it in terms of how I wrote, how I wrote wrote songs in comparison to how I write them now. It, it's kind of changed over the years and, and some of those songs, like for example Red, which I wrote when I was 16, I, I approached in a very different manner to how I approached Girl on a May Bed, the, the title track, which I wrote maybe two months before we started recording mm. the album. So very different very different ways of writing all the way through the how album. How was it then first? Uh, at 16, how was it then? Um, 
It was much more spontaneous, the way I wrote. It was, I used to just sit down and, uh, and just see what I could come out with and not really think about the musicality of it, not think about the chord sequences or, or, or the, the, how the melody moved. I would just do it and it was, something would happen. But now I think a lot more about it, maybe because I've had more, more training, more, more learning on it. Um, and so now I, I do a lot more thinking about how it should move, how the song should progress and all that kind of thing. So I think it's just, I think more. <laughs> but then so. it was first more spontaneous, I guess. Yeah. Isn't it kind of also, well, could it be better for a song or does it? Yeah, uh, oh, definitely, matter? yeah. I mean, I, it, it, I think that's the great thing about songwriting. There's no formula to it, which is why when people are asked how they songwrite, everyone comes out with a different answer. It makes it kind of unique in some ways. <laughs> but do you try, try to st still uh, be like spontaneous now sometimes? Or? Yeah, yeah, I do sit down. I still do write songs like that occasionally where you just sit down and just go, right, I'm just going to not think about it and just do it. <laughs>